All right, Coach, what were your takeaways from the game today and just the series in general against Kennesaw State? Well, the takeaway today is uh, Kennesaw is their fighters. So we came out, we got one run, and then shut us down for a long time. And when they tied it back up, I was really pleased with our response in order to get a couple more runs and to win the game 3-1. But they challenged us all the way towards the end, and that's fun. Were there any moments today that stood out to you? Yeah, I think what was really neat today is how Rupi collected herself, uh, that's Rachel Roop, um, going three for three. She also scored two of the three runs, hit in by Megan Fortner's just doing her job, doing such a, such a good job. And then to see the adjustment of Mary Claire Wilson, right, MC, when she slapped and put the ball up the middle to score Lily, who was pinch running for Rachel Crane, who had also a really good series. So it takes a team. Uh, when you saw um, Alexis Soto, she just got the ball in the end of the bat, and I just told uh, Rachel Rupert at third, I said, if that happens and it goes slowly to second, you're fast enough to beat it out. And she did, and there was no play at home. So there was a lot of good things to come out of it. Uh, we have to still keep improving. And, okay, I want to just say, I know I'm giving a long answer to this question, but uh, Paige Bachman did a sensational job this weekend against Kennesaw State. They've got a lot of speed. They've got power in the 3-4. Uh, and then when you saw Baki just contain them with that drop and what she's doing, really sensational job for her. Please. How important were these three wins against Kennesaw State? It was really important. Uh, when we started with Florida Gulf Coast and, you know, win a couple games not scoring runs and we lost, you know, with narrow margins there, it was, uh, you know, it was a wake-up call. And uh, when we bounced back, beat them, and then, you know, take an EKU before that and to win this and sweep this series was really important. Mm -hmm. You guys have a long road trip ahead of you next week. What are your goals for those games? Well, the goals, you know, we start with Elon on Tuesday and then we're flying out on Thursday to play another ASUN conference competitor with the University of North Florida, which is going to be good. Uh, make some adjustments with their pitching and all that and, and hopefully bring it all together. Uh, but then we're going to be coming back. And when we get back, we're going to be playing at Virginia and then the next day, we're going to be driving down to Charlotte and play Charlotte, who's had some really big wins this year. So it, it's going to be a, a trial, but I think it's good to prepare us for our conference championships, which will be at Stetson in Deland, Florida this year. Mm -hmm. You still have a long season ahead of you. What do you hope to accomplish this year? Well, what I hope to accomplish is that everyone eventually gets to see us on all four cylinders when everything is clicking and going together. I mean, right now you're seeing pieces of it and it's still exciting, but man, when they, the whole puzzle comes together and all the pieces are coming together, this team is very, very gifted. God has been uh, so amazing to bless us with what we have. And I think he's right now teaching us patience and perseverance, and hopefully we will peak at the right time. Go Flames.